In this portion of the style guide, we're going to talk about names, titles that people have, and using our school's name. Let's start with names. Our rule is this. The first time you mention someone in your article, the very first time you mention a new person, you need to include their first name, their last name, and their title. So here's the first time we're mentioning Brittany Cortez, and we say for her title being a senior. Normally, if we're just talking about a student on campus who doesn't have any other roles or responsibilities relevant to your article, we just say senior for, or whatever grade level they are, for senior Brittany Cortez, scholarships were the only way she could afford college. Now, every time after this mention, we can refer to her by her last name like you see here and that this also goes for adults on campus um, we don't call people mr singleton or miss bridges we call them journalism teacher matthew singleton or theater arts teacher annie bridges but after we mention them the first time we can refer to them just by their last name the only exception to this rule is we're writing an article where we talk about um, people with the same last name. This actually happens quite a bit because sometimes we're writing articles where we've interviewed both a student and, say, their parent. If their parent has the same last name as them, then we can't simply keep referring to them by their last name because that can get confusing. So if you encounter this, you have a choice to make. You can choose to then, after the first mention, call them by their first name, and that can be helpful. Or you can choose who the primary person in the article is. So in this one, we'll say it's Brittany Cortez. And then when we refer to Brittany Cortez's mother, who we are introducing for the first time, so we would refer to her as Cortez's mother, comma, Julia Cortez, we've named her now, is grateful for Cortez's hard work. See, we're still referring to Brittany throughout the rest of this as Cortez, and anytime we're going to refer to Julia now, we're going to just call her Cortez's mother. So you can see how it works out here. Let's look at it. For senior Brittany Cortez, scholarships were the only way she could afford college. Cortez, we're referring to Brittany there, visited the College and Career Center daily to apply for scholarship. Cortez's mother is what we're naming Julia Cortez here is great. Julia Cortez is grateful for Cortez's, referencing Brittany's, hard work. She's doing it for all of us, Cortez's mother said. So for the rest of this article, I would refer to Julia Cortez as Cortez's mother, and I would refer to Brittany Cortez as just Cortez. Whichever way you choose to handle people with the same last name, you need to do it consistently throughout your article. Don't switch back and forth. If you're going to refer to Brittany Cortez as Cortez throughout the rest of it, stick with that. If you're going to refer to uh, her mom as Cortez's mother, stick with that. If you're going to call Brittany, Brittany, stick with that after that first mention. Go ahead and make sure that your own writing reflects this. Now let's talk about titles. So we already mentioned this a little bit. We're talking about the titles that people have. Most of the time when we're writing about students, if we're just talking about students in general on campus, their title is going to be their grade level. Um, and you never need to capitalize a grade level unless, of course, it's at the beginning of a sentence. And then, of course, you would need to do that. But otherwise, you don't need to capitalize a grade level. In other articles, you might run into other titles for students. If you're writing about a decision the student council made and you're talking about the student council president, you would need to mention that they're the student council president. It might look something like this. It was student council president Amy Villarreal who came up with the idea for prom. Um, in sports, you might say the position they play. And you can also include their grade level. So if I'm talking about a running back uh, on football team, it was junior running back Daryl Griffin who scored the winning touchdown and this goes for adults too you would say the subject they teach and teacher and their first and last name it was journalism teacher Matthew Singleton it was um, math teacher James Hamrick it was theater arts teacher Annie Bridges and that's almost always lowercase unless you're getting into 
official titles like vice principal, principal, superintendent, or in certain professions they have other titles. And that would start to look like this. It was Holmes Principal Ada Bulkin who came up with the rule change. So we're saying what school principal um, in capital letter right there. Or like other official titles like it was United States Senator John Cornyn who came up with the rule change. So go make sure all your titles reflect this and look right in your writing. The last thing we're going to talk about is the name of our school. The rule for this is very simple. What If you're writing for a specific campus or school, or you're writing for a specific city, um, generally you may not need to put the name of the school or city in there. For us at Holmes, the style choice that we make for all of our publication is that we do not say, when we're talking about our football team, we do not say the Holmes varsity football team. We assume that everyone knows we're talking about the Holmes team. Now, if we were talking about the TAP varsity football team in an article, we would say their team name, but our default is if we're talking about the varsity football team, it's Holmes. Same thing goes for Husky, our mascot, um, which by the way, Husky, is H-U-S-K-Y. It is not H-U-S-K-I-E. The um, If it's we're talking about more than one Husky, then it's H-U-S-K-I-E-S. -E but if we're talking about one Husky, it's just H-U-S-K-Y. But that shouldn't come up that much because we don't want to say that either. We know if we're talking about the marching band that it's the Holmes High School marching band. We know if we're talking about choir we're assuming we're talking about the Holmes High School Choir. Same thing goes here. If you're writing an article and you're trying to say that students here at Holmes High School are doing something like signing up for new courses today, what we would prefer you use is instead of saying students at Holmes High School are signing up for new courses today, you would say students on campus are signing up for new courses today. So look through your writing and make sure that if you're writing about Holmes or a group on campus that you're not using Holmes or Husky unless it's absolutely necessary. That's it.